What's up guys, my name is Adapt and welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video I had nothing else to talk about. So I am going to be talking about the situ current situation with Arsenal. So they have appointed a new manager and he goes by the name of Unai Emery. Now we were thinking um, Arteta was like the main candidate to get the job. Um, it was rumoured for weeks and weeks that he was going to but last minute Arsenal went in for this guy and in my opinion you know that's as that's as good as we're gonna get um to be honest with you guys you know um I don't know why Allegri didn't come I haven't looked more into that but Emery we we have to give him a chance based on his credentials now the gameplay you're seeing on the screen is from the DKT a couple of weeks ago for the team of the season Callahan card so I've got quite a bit of gameplay on my computer which I just haven't used so um, first of all let's get into talking about what United Emery can bring to Arsenal now we have Arsenal haven't won a European trophy in so long and this guy has gone ahead and he's won three Europa Leagues in a row now you know First one one Europa League win you can say is a fluke. But three in a row, you know, you have to be a good manager to be able to do them like on the bounce. You know, twenty thirteen to twenty fourteen, then he did it to fourteen to fifteen and then fifteen to sixteen and it was um was with Sevilla, you know. Um Sevilla they were a terrible team when when he took took them over and he managed to get them up to I think it was seven for something I'm not too sure on that but he took them to a mid-table team I believe or was it Valencia yeah Valencia I think Valencia or Sevilla I can't remember where it was but in this article I'm reading from the Metro it says in four seasons Valencia finished sixth followed by the third for three consecutive consecutive campaigns so um he didn't win um anything at Valencia but he brought stability to the club you know and he hasn't got a lot to build on you know from like even if we finish one one place above from from last season it's progress you know um the main goal um I, obviously we're not expecting to go ahead and win the title straight away that's just ludicrous guys you know um we're years behind man city um the main goal for the first couple of seasons is to get back into top four consistently and get back into the champions league spots you know um, so Emery has been at PSG, he's been at Sevilla, he's been at Valencia, he's been at Deportivo, he's been at Al Almera. So he's got quite the quite the CV on him, in my opinion. You know, he did the treble at PSG. Yeah, he's he's had his bad parts as a manager. You know, um, um, they like I think PSG played Barca in the Champions League and they got knocked out for being six one up when he was their manager but you know every single manager has their their bad highlights in their careers you know even even when Wenger came to Arsenal you know he was pretty much a nobody like what did he what did he have on his CV nothing compared to what Emery has coming into Arsenal to fill Wenger's boots yeah it's gonna be a tough job but we have to give the new guy a chance and we have to see what he can do with um, the devices given to him, you know. I think we should give him, you know, Arsenal, they're saying they have a budget of 50 million. Give him the money. Give him the money to build a team around what he what he believes um, the team should play, you know. Um, allow him to buy the players and give him freedom, in my opinion. Um, we need to give this guy, you know, if we become a team like what 13th 14th 15th you know bottom bottoms um half of the league um after like half of the season you know that's extremely that's extremely concerning and we're probably going to have to move him on but if if he's sixth if he's seventh you know um he hasn't like stayed where he stayed where Wenger kind of left us 
um, or like he does a bit better, you know. We need to give him more time. We can't turn into a club like, um, for example, Man U. You know, after Ferguson left, he left on a on a huge high, winning the league, and then Moyes had huge boots to fill. When he didn't fill them boots, it was just manager after manager getting kicked out. They had Van Gaal, they had Moyes, they had I can't even remember how many others they've had, but. You know, they're not even happy with the football Mourinho's playing at, at the club right now. Arsenal versus Man U, you know. They couldn't even outplay our youth team. They had to lump up balls to Fellaini to just win the game. You know, which just isn't great with the amount of money they've spent on their squad. Like, how much on Pogba, I couldn't even remember. But in, on, in Sevilla, they, he had a 51.7 win ratio. You know what, it isn't the best, but as his career went on, it did improve. Now, at PSG, he had a 76.3 um, win ratio for the two seasons he was there. Yeah, you can say um, there's only a couple of teams in the Liga Un. You've probably got PSG and Monaco, who are the main ones. you got Marseille, you got a couple of others, but he still did the treble there, you know. It, you still have to be... A manager of, of some competence to be able to win what he's won and I think we're just gonna go and have to give him a chance you know it was also rumored that Henri was in talks to get the Arsenal job but um, Vieira was in talks you know so Vieira, Arteta and and Henri were, were the main candidates who had meetings with the club you know pr preferably fans would have wanted um, Allegri but you know what, that didn't happen, and your Emery's as, as good as we, we could have hoped for, guys, but, you know, we, we're gonna have to give this guy a new chance, but anyway, this, this game has, this video has come to an end, I, I can't speak properly right now, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video, see you guys later, peace.